Hello, fifth grade. Welcome your English class. Today we have a, a new class, okay? We are going to remember the questions we learned on Friday. And today we are going to learn a new question for she or he. Ok, vamos a una pregunta para he o she. Muy bien, chicos, hola, bienvenido. Vamos a empezar la clase de inglés. We are going to use your book. Ok, we are going to use your book. Clap, clap, five. Ok, and we are going to have some activities in your book and in your work. Ok, we are going to start. Ok, go to your books on page. Go to your books on page. Thirty-two, okay, thirty-two. Thirty-two, okay, thirty-two, okay. You are going to have a audio, okay. You are going to listen this audio, okay. You have a question and answer. Listen the audio. Unit three, lesson two. Mom wakes me up. Okay, you're going to listen again. Page 32. 1. Listen and say. What time do you get up? Mom wakes me up, so I get up at six and a half. Okay, you're going to listen again. Unit 3. Lesson 2. Mom wakes me up. Page 32. 1. Listen and say. What time do you get up? Mom wakes me up. So I get up at six and a half. Okay. This, look. If you look, we have a question. Now, what time do you get up? What time? ¿Qué significa? ¿A qué hora tú te des? Te levantas, okay? ¿Cómo te, te levantas, okay? But the answer for the girl, we have a, two answers in one. Tenemos dos respuestas en uno. Mom wakes me up. Mom. What is the meaning for mom? Mom is mama. Mom wakes me up. Mi mamá me despierta, so I get up, yo me levanto at six and a half. Ok, yo me levanto a las seis y tres. Ok, mom wakes me up. What happened with that? They're wake, ok, wake, and wake and get up. What happened with this verb? Ok, you are going to continue with the activity, with activity two. Vamos a continuar con la actividad dos. And this is the answer, this is the response. Okay, you're going to listen. Okay, you're going to listen. Okay, for this clap, clap. Okay, this is the questions with what time do you and what time does. Okay, you're going to use the pronoun are you with they and the pronoun he and she. Okay, listen. Unit three. Lesson 2, page 32. 2. Listen, say, and match. Clap, clap, clap! What time do you wake up? I wake up at six and a half. You get up at a quarter past six. We take a shower at a quarter to seven. They get dressed at seven o'clock. Do you wake up early? Yes, I do. Do you wake up on time? No, I don't. What time does she wake up? She wakes up at 6.30. What time does he take a shower? He takes a shower at 6.45. She gets up at 6.15. He gets dressed at 7. Does she wake up early? Yes, she does. Does he wake up on time? No, he doesn't. Okay, in the listening, we have two questions and the answers, we have a different writing, okay? The different escritura, okay? When the pronoun are you with they, you are going to use do, but in he and she, you are going to use auxiliary does, okay? In the answers, with the unit, with the ready daily routines, with are you with they, is that writing the same, but he and she, in the writing, you're going to write a S, 
We're going to put an S. Vamos a colocar una S. Waits, gets, takes, and gets. Ok. But because is plain for in third person. He explicado que es esto en tercera persona. In third person, the, the verbs or the action you're going to write an S o ES. Ok. En tercera persona, los verbos o acciones se lamenta una S o un ES. Depends the action, dependiendo la acción, okay? dependiendo la right, dependiendo la escritura de la acción. For example, for example, on wake, waits, get, gets, take, takes, get, gets. Ok. But the other question is question for yes or no. La otra pregunta, the answer is for yes or no. La respuesta es con sí y no. Do, you're going to use a do for I, you, we, they, but for he and she, you're going to use auxiliary does. Okay? And the answer is yes, the pronoun do in affirmative, but in negative, you're going to use no, the pronoun, and the, and the word don't. Okay? Recuerda que en afirmativo usamos el yes, el pronombre depends the question. El pronombre dependiendo de la pregunta. Ok. And the auxiliary do. But in negative, pero en negativo, you're going to use no. The pronoun depends the question. El pronombre dependiendo de la pregunta. And the word don't. Ok. Don't. But, pero, in he and she, you're going to use the auxiliary does. Does. Ok. And the answers. Is with does, ¿ok? Y las respuestas son con das. Yes, she o he does, o no, o no, he o she doesn't, ¿ok? Does in affirmative, doesn't in negative. Do in affirmative, don't in negative. Y the question is a question for short answer. Si la pregunta es una respuesta corta, do in affirmative, don't in negative, You are going to, you, are, you use with the pronoun I, you, we, they. Lo utilizas con el pronombre I, you, we, they. But in he and she, you're going to use the auxiliary does in affirmative, but in negative does. Ok? Continue. You're going to remember the questions. Ok? With what time do you, what time do we, and what time do they? I have some examples. What time do we have breakfast? ¿A qué hora nosotros desayunamos? Okay. If you look the time, si tú observas la hora, the answer is we have breakfast at quarter past nine. Cuando te preguntan a qué hora desayunas o a qué hora haces una actividad, tú tienes que responder your answer. Primero es diciendo la actividad and the end you're going to say that time. ¿Ok? Primero mencionas la actividad que haces o la rutina que haces y al final colocas la hora. Por ejemplo, aquí. We have breakfast at, este at te menciona la, va a decirte a qué hora, at a quarter past nine. Ello, nosotros desayunamos a las nueve y quince. ¿Ok? Don't forget. The answer for this question, la, la respuesta por esta pregunta es primero, first, you're going to write The activity, primero escribes la actividad. And finally, finalmente, you're going to write the time. Y finalmente escribes la hora. Continue with the next example. Ok. What time do they have breakfast? Ahora están que preguntan a qué hora ellos desayunan. Ok. The answer is they. Why they? Because the question is with they. Porque la pregunta es con they. My answer is they. But the question is we, my answer is we. Si mi pregunta es con we, mi respuesta tiene que ser con we. No puede ser no difference, ¿ok? No different pronoun. Y the same pronoun. Tiene que ser la misma, el mismo pronoun. They have breakfast at quarter past nine. Ellos desayunan 9 y 15. ¿Ok? Continue. What time do you get up? ¿A qué hora tú te despiertas? If you look the time, si tú ves la hora, ¿ok? Is, um, what time? ¿Cómo responderías? Do you? O sea, acá que te preguntan a ti. Entonces, I. Muy bien. 
I get up, yo me despierto at a quarter to nine. Yo me despierto un cuarto para las ocho. Okay, I get up a quarter to nine. Okay, don't forget, in this case, the question, if you, en este caso, si la pregunta es con you, your answer is with I, es con I. Ok, es con yo, I. Ok, I. with you, I. Ok, si es con you, tu respuesta es I, porque es no te a ti. Okay. Continue. With the short answers, respuestas cortas. The question is, do you, do we, do they? Ok, you look the question. Tienes que observar siempre la pregunta para que la respuesta sea correcta. Is, is affirmative, yes. Depends the pronoun, dependiendo del pronombre, do. Is in negative, no. Depends the pronoun, dependiendo del pronombre, don't. Ok. We have some examples. Do you take a shower every day? ¿Tú te bañas todos los días? And the answer is, yes, I do. Sí, yo me baño todos los días. Yes, I do. Ok. Don't forget, with the question is you, your answer is I. But in the case, the question is we, your answer is we. Only the different answer is with you. Solamente la respuesta diferente va a ser con, el, con la pregunta with you, con you, is I. ¿Ok? Continuamos. Do they go to school every day? Ellos van al colegio todos los días. If you look the day of the week, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. ¿Van todos los días? Yes or no? No. Okay, no. What is the pronoun? Can you use in the question? ¿Cuál es la pronombre que están usando? That you see in the question? They. Your answer is no. They don't. Don't forget the word don't use in negative. No te olvides que la palabra don't lo usamos en negativo, ¿ok? Don't. No, they don't. ¿Ok? Do they go to school every day? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No. No, they don't. ¿Ok? Now, you're going to Look, the answer with he, with, perdón, question with he and she. Preguntas con he and she and the answers too. Okay? What time does he, what time does she? What is the difference? You're going to use the auxiliary does. Utilizamos el does. But in I, you, we, they, you are going to use the auxiliary do. Okay? Do. Look at the examples. What time does she get up? Okay, what time? ¿A qué hora se despierta ella? If you look, la hora. But the answer has a little change. Va a tener un pequeño cambio. For the action, por la acción, por el verbo. Okay, what time does she get up? Primero mencionamos que la acción y, and finally, finalmente, the time. Okay. She gets. ¿Qué pasaba cuando era con she on he? Al verbo lamentábamos que we're going to write an S. Lamentábamos una S. She gets up at quarter to eight. Ella se despierta un cuarto para las ocho. Ok. Don't forget. In he and she, the answers, we're going to write an S in the action. No te olvides que en las respuestas, con el he and she, le agregas una S en las acciones. Ok. Continue. What time does he brush his hair? Ok. If you look, You have to Ah, ya. Ya sabes. ¿Cómo vas a responder primero? Primero respondemos la acción. But in this case, brush, brush, we are going to write a E a S. Brushes. Ok. He brushes his hair at 5 past 10. Él se peina el cabello a las 10 y 5. Ok. O 5 minutos pasados de la lista. Ok, he brushes his hair. Tienes que colocar primero, you're going to write first the action and finally the time. Y finalmente la hora. He brushes his hair. Miss, ¿pero qué pasa con este verbo? Ah, te voy a explicar. Cuando algunos verbos terminan and the end with is and age, cuando los verbos terminan con s y h, you're going to write a es. Le aumentamos una es when the pronoun is he and she. Cuando el pronombre es he and she. Ok, a este verbo le he aumentado una es. Ok. Continue. Now, questions and answers. Ok, question in short form. Preguntas en forma corta and answers in short form. Respuestas en forma corta. 
Does she and does he? Don't, don't forget the auxiliary can you can you, the use in she and he is does. Okay, el auxiliar que usan el he and she es el does, but the auxiliary that use in I, you, we, they es el do. No te olvides que para I, you, we, they es el do. And the answers is yes. The pronoun depends the question. La, la, el pronombre dependiendo de la pregunta. Does, affirmative. And in negative, no. The pronoun doesn't. Okay? Does, affirmative. Doesn't in negative. Okay? Continue. Have an example. Does he go to school at 7 o'clock? If you look the time, si tú observas la hora, it's at 7 o'clock. What is the answer? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Very good. And the answer is, no, he doesn't. Okay? No, he doesn't. Okay? No, he doesn't. Continue. Does she get dressed at half past seven? Ella se cambia a las siete y treinta. If you look the time, si tú observas la hora, yes. What is the correct answer? Yes, she does or no, she does. And the answer is, yes, she does. Okay? Now we're going to practice. Vamos a practicar. With your book, con tu libro. Okay? We have an audio. You're going to listen and complete. Vamos a completar. Okay? Listen the audio. Unit 3, Lesson 2, page 32. 3. Listen and complete. A. Does John wake up early? Yes, he does. He wakes up at 6 a.m. B. Does Sophie get up on time? Yes, she does. She gets up at 6.30 a.m. C. What time does Mary get dressed? She gets dressed at 6.45 a.m. D. What time does Mark take a shower? He takes a shower at 7 a.m. Okay. You're going to use a.m. for a.m. and p.m. for p.m. Okay, you're going to listen again. Listen again. Unit 3, Lesson 2, page 32. 3. Listen and complete. A. Does John wake up early? Yes, he does. He wakes up at 6 a.m. B. Does Sophie get up on time? Yes, she does. She gets up at 6.30 a.m. C. What time does Mary get dressed? She gets dressed at 6.45 a.m. D. What time does Mark take a shower? He takes a shower at 7 a.m. Okay. Now you're going to complete the answers, okay? What time... Sorry, does John wake up early? Yes, he does. If you look at uh, the time, si tú observas la hora, yes, he does. He wakes up at 6 a.m., okay? Wakes. Don't forget, for he and she, you're going to write an S in the actions, okay? Le agregas una S or y es en las acciones, okay? In this case, the daily routines, en las rutinas diarias. Letter B. Look at Sophie. Does Sophie, what, uh, what daily routine is this? A ver, if you don't listen the audio, you are going to look the picture. Si no has escuchado bien el audio, observa la imagen, okay? For complete the question. Does Sophie, what is the daily routine in this? Very good. What does Sophie get up of time? Okay, muy bien, se levanta. Yes, she does. She gets up and half past 6 a.m. Okay? Continue. Letter C. What action is this? ¿Qué acción será esta? Or what daily routine is this? What, does, what time does Mary get dressed? Very good. Get dressed. Very good. And the answer. Te están preguntando a qué hora ella se está cambiando. Entonces, ¿tú qué vas a responder primero? Muy bien, la acción, she, ¿qué pasa con el verbo cuando es con she and he? Muy bien, lamentamos una, es 
She gets dressed at at a quarter to seven or six forty-five a.m. What time does Mark does Mark what? What is the the little thing is this? Very good. Take a shower. Okay. And the answer is accurate. The answer is he takes a shower at 7 a.m. Okay, continue. Now, in your notebook, you're going to copy the, day, the title and you copy the questions and answer with what time do you and what time does she or he? And do you, do they, and does she and does he? Okay, copy. Now, in your workbooks on page, in your workbook, in the página 21, activity 1, you are going to read, you are going to read the sentences. Read the sentences, A, B, C, and match with the correct hour and pictures, okay? Vas a unir, las, yo te he mostrado, yo te he colocado las imágenes, las, horas, las oraciones ya con las letras, y tú me vas a colocar cuál imágenes y con la hora que corresponde, ¿ok? Let's plan. This is activity one. Activity two. And scramble and write the question then answers. Muy bien, vas a ordenar, we have an scramble. Vamos a ordenar la pregunta, you are going to write, here the question, and you answer the question, ¿ok? We yes or no, ¿ok? If you don't have book, you are going to do this activity. Si tú no cuentas con el libro, vas a hacer esta actividad 2. Okay? Solamente la actividad 2 del libro, okay? del workbook. Okay? Va a ser solamente esta actividad. Que me ordenes la oración y me respondas. Okay? Solamente eso. Okay, chicos, los que no cuentan con el libro. If you don't have book, only you do activity 2 of your workbook. Okay? okay, class. It's time to say bye-bye, goodbye, see you on Friday. And... Friday, we have a surprise for you. Okay? Goodbye. Bye bye.